Otherwise. Oh, there you go. Well done, young man. Nice. Brilliant. I sure like it. We're here in Lone Hill today. Got a removal on the ground chair and a water meter. The bees sound quite active. They've been here for about a month, so they shouldn't be too big, but we've had a lot of rain recently. So a lot of flowers on bloom. There's a lot of nectar, there's a lot of pollen. So it's a good chance that this colony grew to a decent size over the last month. Uh, we'll open it up in a few. Give it a look. We're gonna be vacuuming tonight. We're gonna put them onto this white sheet next to us, just so we can help see the bees. So we'll lift up the lid off the water meter which is hidden in this tall grass, and just put it on there. Grab me the crowbar. Yeah, okay. I'll just definitely need two people. Yeah. Otherwise. Oh, there you go. Well done, young man. Nice. Brilliant. How should I like it? Which side? Um. Um. Yeah, actually put it down with where your feet are, that way, yeah. Okay, but you're going to have to go carefully. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so we get to work on vacuuming. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go from the bottom. And just slowly work our way up. To the viewers, if you spot the queen, let us know in the comments.
leave a timestamp of where you see her. Because there's quite a few removals where we often miss them. We have had a viewer in the past spot a queen for us. And it was quite cool to see. If you don't know what the queen looks like, you can check some of our previous videos. This piece of comb is just uncapped honey. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, very yellow comb, eh? Very, very yellow. Couple of high feet soles, but it's fine. Ah, so and so. Yeah, I did get stung once, but yeah, these guys already have a queen cell. No, uncapped. Nothing inside of it. But they did seem like they were growing a bit big for the hole. They filled it up uh, width and lengthwise. They were probably just pulling up length at that point. That's all the comb done, vacuuming up the last bees. Still a couple in here. Just on and under the edges. Suck a little harder. Yeah. It's a smaller area. Right, we're at the apiary and um, we're transferring these bees into what we call bunker boxes, they're concrete hives. I don't particularly like working with these bunker boxes. I find the uh, box is quite heavy, particularly the super. And also the bees do build on top of the frames and then stick the frames to the lid of the, the bunker box. So we've only got the one apiary with these, with four uh, of these bunker boxes. So first we're just moving the uh, frames into the bunker box with the brood from the nest. And then we start to move the bees from the vacuum. When we're moving the bees from the vacuum, we generally move the mesh first. We find that a lot of the bees cluster onto the mesh and form a beard. Um, I would say probably about 60% of 
the bees that we gather cluster onto this mesh. Then we use a bit of uh, shaking and the brush to help the bees into the hive. The next section of the BVAC is the middle section, the brood box size on the BVAC. Uh, this is quite easy to get the bees into the box. Uh, just using the brush, we gently scrape them into the gap that we left open there. Um, all the bees flop into the box. And then the last section is the bottom of the box, uh, which is the super size. And then we put the bees the last frames into the hive and the bees will get onto that brood as quickly as possible, keep it warm so that uh, that brood doesn't go off and the bees will be happy in this new hive. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend you take a look at one of our previous videos where we took bees from a roof.